So, here's what I'm doing. I'm sitting on the floor of the Intergalactic Space Arcade, organizing this giant bin of comics I brought out of my basement into piles. Here we have the, the G.I. Joe pile, as you can see. Uh, sitting next to the Transformers pile. Sitting next to the Miscellaneous pile. And over here we have Ghost in the Shell. And um, this is Punisher and X-Men. A lot of amazing comics here. In fact, I have almost the entire G.I. Joe run up to a certain point in Transformers as well. Uh, this is pretty much, this is like a big chunk of my childhood right here. And somewhere, I just saw it in here. There it is. There's the original G.I. Joe number 21, which I reviewed the reprint of this not too long ago. But this is regarded as one of the best comic books ever ever created. No dialogue, just Snake Eyes and Scarlet kicking ass. Beat the crap, obviously, because I read that a thousand times. I wasn't joking when I said I read it a lot. Got uh, G.I. Joe 1 in there somewhere. Transformers number 1, which is beat the crap. Let's see what we got here. Transformers. Transformers. G.I. Joe. Oh, that was like the Trans Am with the machine guns on the front. More G.I. Joe, more G.I. Joe. And then a bunch of G.I. Joe special missions. And the yearbook, because you can never have too much G.I. Joe. And Shiro's one of my favorite artists, so I've got uh, pretty much the entire run, as well as the Japanese version of Ghost in the Shell 2. Probably about 10 or 15 years old now, I'm not sure. Let's see what else we got here. Let's take our stack. Ugh. Transformers. Goes into the Transformers pile. Transformers Headmasters. Which is like a silly spin-off of the Transformers. And, uh, so I'm going to be ramping up the comic reviews here over the next year. Now that the film is done, freed up some... Oh, the G.I. Joe yearbook. Love that. Freed up some time. X-Men goes over there. Must have bought that in high school. Union. I heard that. I remember that one. Let's see. Spider-Man goes over there. Spider-Man goes over there. And... Don't even know what the hell that is. The Punisher... Goes over there, more Image Comics, Wizard, Punisher Armory, Punisher War Journal, love the Punisher, and Wildcats. Not as good as the Pun, that goes into the Punisher. Not as good as the Punisher. I mean, really, what is? Futurama, well, Futurama's very good. Futurama. And Spawn. Used to read Spawn. Remember Spawn? Remember Wildcats? Jim Lee. Never heard of him. Who's Jim Lee? What's he know? That's how I draw the X-Men, that's for damn sure. See you soon here on Classic Game Room Comics. It's the X-Babes. And Wolverine.